Mark Paul, after nearly five years in charge, you take the decision to part company with, with Mark Yates. You know, how, how difficult a decision was it? That's uh, hugely difficult. Um, that's a difficult decision I've had to make, um, or, and, and the board's had to make um, in, in my time here. Um, it's a very sad day, to be honest, because Mark, um, I think uh, Mark has, has done a huge amount for this football club, and, and I would hate to think that people are going to think of think of Mark's time here as, as the last 10 or 12 matches. Actually, his contribution to this football club is, is, is significant, not just nearly five years as a manager, which in itself is a, is a hell of an innings, uh, during which time you've had some huge successes, so as we know, you know, playoff final, playoffs, cup matches. Um, so a huge amount to be grateful to Mark for, not least of which the mess he dug us out of. Um, when he when he first arrived, and, and that in itself was perhaps you could argue one of his best achievements. But then, as a player um, and as a captain, and I always remember him leading the team out at uh, Millennium Stadium. And my daughter that day was 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 uh, one of the mascots, and the way he looked after her, you know, I've got nothing but good words to say about Mark as, as a man uh, and uh, and and as a as someone who's passionate about this football club. And that's why we originally brought him to the club, because he was passionate and understood the club. And he's still passionate and cares about the club. And he was very upset, um, understandably so. Uh, and I was upset. And I think everybody who knows Mark will, be, will, be, will have a tinge of sadness, uh, and probably quite a lot of sadness in some cases, um, with the decision we've had to take. But as I've explained um, to the management team, um, that's football. Um, you know, we have to... We have to look after the business of the football club. We have to look at results, and they, they haven't been good of late. Um, look at performances and the manner of the performances, and something is not quite right. And um, as is always the case, it's the manager who takes the can. Uh, and in this case, you know, Mark, um, Mark will be part in company um, from t from today. And uh, we wish him well in, in, in his future. He's a hugely qualified manager with all the qualifications you can possibly expect. Um, so I'm sure he'll bounce back and, and uh, in the same way that other managers bounce back. And we'll see Mark again. And I hope very much that he will remain a, a close friend of the club. And as I said to him, he's always going to be very, very welcome to come and join us in the boardroom. Uh, as indeed many of our previous managers do. You know, We often have people like John Ward there and Bobby Gould uh, coming up. Uh, Keith Downing, you know, and in, in who have left the club in different circumstances, and, and they they're always welcome back, as indeed are ex players, and that that's why make this decision is all more difficult because we are a family, and we regard Mark as part of that family, and um, so for that reason, hugely difficult. But we, we know, the decision has been made, so we um, you know we look forward to a new era. Um, we are making a, an announcement on Thursday as to who the new manager will be. Um, <coughs> I think it's respectful to Mark to to leave a couple of days um, before we make those announcements. Um, but as I say announcement of only one person coming. Um, so that person will be in place on Thursday. We'll have a press conference on Thursday morning to um, you know, announce the new manager. And obviously then he'll be able to meet the management team and, uh, and the staff and prepare for what is going to be a very, very busy few weeks and to the end of the season with Oxford you know that's a great great game for the for a new manager to start with a local derby and then of course our biggest match of the season without question though for the following weeks so um, he'd have a chance not much of a chance but a bit of a chance to get to know the players and um, get some thoughts and uh, um, and give us hopefully uh, every chance of progressing into the third round and kick-starting our season and getting back into those playoff positions.